guys, in this video we're going to make a cake topper of Jemima Puddle Duck, something that quite a few of you have requested. We're going to make it in modeling paste and I'll put links in the description box below to everything that we've used in the video. So I've just got a small round cake card and you can choose whatever size cake card you want to put it on. And we're just putting a little bit of really pale green icing onto the top of that cake card. Just so I've got a nice little base to sit my duck on. I just used a round cutter and I'm just rounding off the edges just by stroking it gently with my fingers. For the duck I've taken a ball of paste and we're rolling into a teardrop shape. So we're starting with a teardrop. She's not quite the right shape just yet and we'll work on this a little bit more. So I'm going to try and slim the neck slightly. So can you see it's a little bit thinner at that top pointy bit. And just near the bottom, which will be the front, can you see I'm trying to put a little bit of an indentation. I'm just using the bottom of my hand to press in a little bit there. So we're going to press in at the back which will make the bottom of the neck. So can you see we'll just put a little dent in there, just smooth it off a little bit and then I'm going to pinch a little bit out now at the back, close to the bottom and we're pulling that out to create a little tail. And you want to use a modeling paste that doesn't dry too quickly for this. And just looking at this her neck wants to be a little bit thinner so we're just going to spend a bit more time rolling out that neck. And now it's really long, now I've stretched it out so we're going to cut a little bit more off I'm just going to check that she stands up as well, we don't want her to topple over. So this is the front and just using a paintbrush handle I'm just putting a little indentation in where the legs are going to sit. So quite near the front, let's put some little lines on the tail at the back for her feathers. Just using the back of my Dresden tool, but you can use a little knife or cocktail stick, whatever you want for creating these little details. Some little feather marks in the front, so again just little lines for this. I'm not going to put loads on, just a few. And I'm just using a little bit of water now to stick her to my cake board. Or you can use edible glue if you prefer. So just check she's going to stand up and I'm just pushing a cocktail stick through her neck just for some extra support. You can use a piece of spaghetti if you prefer as you won't be able to eat the cocktail stick. So I've now got some pale yellow paste. So I'll take a bowl. So we're just creating a little foot shape at the end so we're just flattening it down. Making sure it's a little bit wider at the far end and then it gets narrow. We're rolling it so we get a nice thin bit which will become part of the leg. Keep them quite short, we might even need to shorten them a bit more in a minute. And I'm just going to put a little indentation, I'm using sort of the side of the blade of my knife to create these two little triangles on each foot. And then we're going to just trim off the edges so that you get more of a point at the front. And I'll just point them a little bit more on each kind of corner. And can you see I've just bent the leg bit upwards at a little bit of an angle. And now we're going to have a look at the size compared to our body, so you see it's a bit long, so we'll trim a little bit off the top, just roll it a little bit thinner, and we're going to tuck that into that gap that we created earlier. If it's not sticking, you just use a bit of edible glue or water just to push it into place. Same with the other one. You don't really see her wings, but if you're going to do it as an Easter duck and you don't want it to look like Jemima, then you can put little lines in for wings. We are actually going to cover these up shortly. Now I've got quite a small ball of white modelling paste now for her head and I've just pressed in a little bit at either side of the head quite near the top to create a slightly different shape for her head which is where her eyes are going to go. I'm just going to stick this onto the top of the neck so I've just pushed her head onto the top of the cocktail stick and what I'm going to do now is just put a little line to mark where I want the eyes to go either side. I'm just going to push a hole in first of all with my paintbrush handle. Next I'm going to add a beak, so I've got the same yellow that we've used for the feet and we're just going to squeeze, kind of almost like a, a rectangle that's rounded at the far end and then I've kind of widened the rectangle a little bit at the side that's going to touch the face and I'm going to push that on, See, just make sure it's rounded at this top end, give it a little bit of a bend slightly at the end of the beak and we're just going to add a smaller piece just underneath the beak I'm just going to enhance that little line between the bottom and top bit of beak. And let's push in some nostrils. And then we're just going to use some black sugar pearls for the eyes. If you prefer you can just roll black pieces of modeling paste. So I'm going to push these in fairly deep so they don't stick out too much. You don't have to do the next bit but if you want to add a little bit of shade in just with a dry dust just add a little bit of colour anywhere that would be sort of in shadow. So I've gone for sort of underneath the body and I've got a little bit of black or you can use grey that I've mixed with a tiny bit of ivory colour. Just keep it quite pale, don't put too much on your brush. 
try to go into any cracks with it just to darken them slightly. Next we're going to dress her, so we're going to want some pieces of pink. Now I've just kind of rolled a bit of a curve and I've just trimmed it off. I'm not too worried about the top edge because I know we're going to cover this up. So can you see we've just put a little line along the bottom edge, put some little cuts in so she's got little tassely bits on the edge. I'm just going to press that top bit down so I don't see the pleats or creases that I've created when I add the next bit. So we've got another piece of pink, just a pale pink is fine. And I've got a big curve and I'm just going to pop that round so I can see how big it is. So it might not fit first time, and you can always trim it down if it's too big. So now I've put it on in place, I can just mark around how high up on her neck it wants to go. So I'm just going to put a little line in with my Dresden tool. So I can take that back off and then just trim around that mark that I've made. And if it's too long as well, just mark around the bottom and you can trim that off. Just going to take a little bit off either side, because it's a little bit on the wide side. And then we're going to put another line around the bottom. So these are just indentations rather than me cutting all the way through and I'm just using the pointy end of my Dresden tool. A little bit of water on the back and we're going to wrap this back around her, just making it meet at the front. And then let's use the back of our Dresden tool to just put in some little crease lines. Can you see just like that, drawing in little crease lines just makes it look a bit more fabricy. Now for her bonnet, we've got some pale blue. And I've just rolled it out, just thin out the very edge and what I'm going to do is just kind of put it on the back of her head so it creates a bit of a cap but leave quite a lot of it sticking up at the front. And then we've got a small ball of blue that I've pinched just with my fingers. Can you see so it just sits on the back of her head like that so give that a good push on in place. Then we want some thin strips and we'll just try and thin the edges just so they go a little bit roughly. Now it's much easier if you use a flower pad and I've put mine down and I can't find it so I'm just trying to do it on my hand. And then we're just going to stick this on around the seam of the back of the hat so that we cover that up, or the bonnet. Then we'll add another strip just next to the other one, so just do the same again. And then we want a smaller strip that's going to go around the bottom of her little bonnet, covering the seam between sort of her head and her neck. It's just going to tidy everything up for us. And then we want some smaller, thinner pieces. These can be the little tassels where it ties under her neck, so if they're a bit long, just snap a little bit off, tear a bit off the end, and we'll push those just under her chin, and then let's use the other bit that we've cut off to create a little bow shape. So we'll just tuck that round like that. I'm just gonna bend it over, I'm gonna push it underneath, give it a really good press on. Now you don't really see a lot from the front because it's hidden under her chin. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint on some teardrop shapes for the patterning now on her outfit. So again, I've just got a nice pale blue and I've just mixed it with a little bit of water. Um, you can mix it with a clear alcohol as well. And if you prefer not to paint it on, you can just use some more of the blue that you've got left over from your hat and cut out some small little teardrops and stick them on instead. So there she is. And I realized after I'd finished it, I'd forgotten to give her a little yellow button at the front of her outfit where it meets. So if you want, you can add a little ball just on the front in yellow. Hope you've enjoyed the video, thank you for watching. If you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.